Billy Bob Thornton's daughter found herself in a world of trouble after a child died in her care. But what really happened that night? Amanda Broomfield, the estranged daughter of Academy Award-winning screenwriter and actor Billy Bob Thornton, sat in an Orange County, Florida courtroom waiting to hear the jury's verdict. It was May 2011, and she was on trial for first-degree murder, aggravated child abuse, and aggravated manslaughter of a child. The girl, a one-year-old named Olivia Garcia, was Broomfield's goddaughter and the child of her former best friend, Heather Murphy. On the night of Olivia's death, Murphy put Olivia into a playpen at Broomfield's Florida home around 11 p.m. Broomfield, who was 29 at the time, later said that Olivia tried to crawl out of her playpen and fell, landing on her head. After the toddler's fall, Broomfield reportedly didn't see any injuries on Olivia. She gave her a snack, painted her nails, and lay on the couch with her until 2 a.m. Later, when she realized Olivia was unconscious, she attempted to perform CPR on the child. Broomfield's husband called 911 when he got home a little while later. Olivia died at a nearby hospital about 45 minutes after Broomfield first noticed she was unconscious. Police and prosecutors alleged the fall couldn't have caused the severe skull fracture that killed Garcia, according to the Miami Herald. At trial, her attorney told the jury the fall could have exacerbated a previous unknown injury and that Broomfield was herself a mother with two biological children and a stepchild who would never intentionally harm a child, according to the Orlando Sentinel. The jury found Broomfield not guilty of murder and child abuse, but convicted her on the aggravated manslaughter charge. That October, a judge sentenced Broomfield to 20 years in prison. I miss Olivia just as much as anybody does. Broomfield is Billy Bob Thornton's oldest daughter from his first marriage to Melissa Gatlin. The couple split up in 1980, with Gatlin alleging that Thornton cheated on her. Afterward, Thornton was seldom in his daughter's life. Broomfield told Inside Edition in 2011, He's pretty much made me feel like I've been shut out. I mean, I have nothing against him. I love him. He's my father. I just want him to be around. Thornton, in a 2005 interview with the Daily Mail, admitted he hadn't been a very good father to her, saying, She didn't grow up with me, and so we were pretty much strangers for years. At the time of Broomfield's arrest, Thornton distanced himself from her. His publicist, Arnold Robinson, told CNN that the actor and Broomfield were estranged and that Thornton, quote, has had no contact with her for quite some time. Thornton, according to his rep, said, Anytime a baby's life is lost is an unimaginable tragedy, and my heart goes out to the baby's family and loved ones. I hope that one day somebody in that family will come forward and tell me what really happened. After her conviction, Broomfield, who maintained her innocence from the start, attempted to have her case retried without success. Attorneys from the Innocence Project of Florida, a justice reform nonprofit agency, began representing her and filed a motion with medical evidence showing that a short fall like the one Broomfield said Olivia suffered could seriously injure or kill her. In 2020, state prosecutors cut a deal with Broomfield that allowed her to get out of prison after having served eight and a half years if she agreed not to continue to try to have her case overturned. She told the Orlando Sentinel after her release, I had fought so long. They're very quick to put you in prison, but the wheels of justice to let you out are so slow. Even if Broomfield had managed to get her conviction thrown out, she could have ended up serving another 20 years in prison if she lost her case at a second jury trial, according to the Innocence Project. Broomfield told the Orlando Sentinel, It came to that point where it's what was best. Do I continue to fight at the expense of my family needing me there, or do I do what's best for my family and go home and be there for them?